oh, so here's the deal. <laughs> when ministers leave the seminary, they have to take the first job they're offered. That's the rule. There are no exceptions. So Dad found out later that eight other ministers turned down the job. <laughs> the show was fantastic. I'm, Renata, you're absolutely unbelievable. The most important, exciting thing about Sundays is that we need to stay up and watch the Ed Sullivan show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited because Julie Andrews is singing. Oh my God. Okay, can I tell you a secret? I know she's my real mother. <laughs> It's wonderful storytelling. Uh, Renata's really got a story to tell, and it seems like she's had an experience that is very personal and meaningful to her. Oh, the ceiling is so high. There are tons of tiny specks floating in the sunbeam. They look like stars in space. Mom, <laughs> I don't want to wear the hood. Do I have to wear the hood? You have to cover your head. You can catch a cold. She ties it really tight under my chin. Mm -hmm. I look like a big pea pod with a face. <laughs>think you are, little white girl? Why are you talking to her? If I see you talk to her, I swear I will beat your teeth in. Swear you'll never do it. Swear you'll never do it. Swear, swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I, I won't. I'm sorry. It's a real world and a real journey she's taken that knits both where we are today to where uh, Renata and I remember way back when, when it was really tough for the races to have anything to do with one another. So, bravo, Renata. We run across the street, and when we pass the church, a rock flies past Mom's head and hits the church and lands on the sidewalk. I look across the street, and there's a group of black men coming across Ashland Avenue. They have bricks and chains and bats. Particularly to me, what was fascinating is to see the growth of the character from this little girl to a grown-up woman with biracial issues and how she, in a way, demands that the audience face their own.